Wah! Hello, every nerd, nerdette, and noob. It is me. And today... Sorry, I got distracted by my new favorite game. Ever. <laughs> I am very, 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 very much addicted to my Animal Crossing. I know you can't see it very well because my camera is crappy, but... But speaking of Animal Crossing, today's little goody goody has to do with Animal Crossing. I bought, um, let me get this mouse out of my house. I have Bree in my town. She's one of the only villagers I have left from my original. Um, because I'm letting Victoria move because I already have like four pictures of her and I'm just like I want new villagers uh, uh, so bye bye Victoria love ya but you gotta go I think she's leaving tomorrow <laughs> um, but anyway the thing that we got for today is I got the Welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf Guidebook by Prima Games L Licensed by Nintendo In the back we got a little villager girl and KK Slider You're the Mayor, Home Sweet Home, Complete Item Index Um, I rather like this book <laughs> I've been reading it non-stop so far. Um, it does have a little slip cover which I'm going to take off to show you the wonderful cover that's under it which I actually like better. It's um, a mural type thing of the Happy Home Academy. Got some people and some houses. Whoa. But anyway in this book you have multiple chapters let's see chapter one is the introduction what is Animal Crossing and how to use this guide chapter two is how to play the controls the maps the menu saving the game loading a game time of day seasons being neighborly using tools and earning bells welcome to town a ride with Rover to the town hall I talk with Tom Nook. Let's make it official. Isabel's tips. Home at last. Fourth is the Merrill 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 something like that. Mirth. The development permit ordinances and public works. Shops and such in town Main Street. Shops to unlock. Island action. Island. I. Ugh. Island Cabana, Exploring the Island, Heading Home, Island Tours. Seven is Friendly Faces, The pill Pillars of the Community, Special Villagers, Neighbors, and Favorite Coffee, which comes in handy. Eight is Special Events, Variable Events, and Seasonal. Nine is a calendar for every single month. Um, it has special, it has the days written above the actual calendar, and the actual calendar part has everyone's birthday everyone's birthday uh, 10 is home sweet home home upgrades renovations decorations decorating your home and wowing the HHA catalog chapters the furniture showcases clothing catalog is number 12 13 is other items 14 is museum donations and then 15 is the index but in the introduction it shows you like how to read it and like a little summary of each chapter the first is you know how to play the game how to get to your inventory how to save bells how to be neighborly how to use your tools how to use them how to get the upgrades um, ways to make money early game how to do public works projects 
um, it has a list of all the public works projects that you can unlock. Um, talks about all the places that you can unlock and the times and it also has the times if you set it for early bird or night owl for your ordinances. It has a list of all the fortune cookie items. Shops to unlock. How to upgrade uh, the nook shop. Um, how to survive Gracie's fashion checks. They have a hair guide of how to get your hair the way you want it for boys and girls at Shampoodle. Also something I skipped. They have a guide in here that will tell you how to answer the questions with Rover to determine how you will look, which I should have gotten a long time ago because now I have three people. My two girls look fine, but my brother's character <laughs> looks so awful. Let me see if I can find him on this list. This is what my brother looked like. He's like bug-eyed and crazy looking with a pink shirt. Yeah. It can get pretty bad if you don't answer correctly. Um, let's see. Okay, now we're back at the hair. Um, all of Shrunk's jokes that he can unlock. The police station. The surveillance center. Which you can apparently get Mr. Rossetti's picture from, which I'm excited. Um, it talks about the island and how, a little bit about the tours, a little more than what um, Tortimer tells you. And then Friendly Faces, it tells you all the uh, about all the main like characters that everybody has, like Harriet and Katrina and Digby and KK Slider and. Isabel and Lloyd and Leaf and Porter and Mr. Setti and the Able sisters. It talks about Gulliver and Blanca and Franklin and it also has a list of all the gifts that you can get from Gulliver, which comes in handy. Jack, Katie, Jingle, Pascal, Pave, Pete, and then it has a list of all the badges and how to get them. It talks about how to make the snowman in the winter, which will come in handy. It has lists upon lists of the birds and anteaters and bulls and cats and dogs and rabbits and all that you can get. Um, tells their catchphrase, their birthday, their sign, their skill, their future goal, favorite coffee, fave style, and fave song, which will come in handy for April Fool's Day if anybody does not know about April Fool's Day, Blanca comes and let's just say things get crazy and you need to know your villagers well. But if you do everything right, you get their picture, which is also very, very good. So I hope I have no villagers picture on that day so I can just get everybody's. But this is the list of coffee and by the animal's name it will tell you like the coffee type because this is like 5A but you find it and then you find what type of animal they are over on the side over here. Like, let's see, if they're a type 5B squirrel, they would like mocha, regular amount of milk, and two sugars. Um, it talks about, uh, um, it talks about birthdays and the bug off and Bunny Day and Festival and Weeding Day and Summer and Winter Solstices and Toy Day and here's the maps, not the maps, the calendars. See this is everybody's birthday and then up here I'll tell you like the special days and if it's a special day just for a certain country that's not North America it'll be listed with a picture of that country's flag like the Lunar New Year Day is only for Korea. The North American version of New Leaf will not have that. But we will have New Year's Day and there will be a fishing tournament on the third Saturday of January. Hmm. And it also tells you all the available 
bugs, fish, and deep sea fish. Which I'm almost done with my bugs. I just have two more. Almost done with uh, everything, actually. Which is exciting. Um, it tells you about the HH and like what prize you get for how many points you have and just lists upon lists of furniture lists and it has little check point check checky things that you can check I checked under mine just because I, I, I didn't want to write over them but um you can check off what you have so you know when you complete a set or not and it has everything it even has like DLC stuff That's a little thing that you, I can't show you because it's special. And then like it'll just have like random furniture like clocks and chairs and beds that don't really have a good f furniture item set. And, and then it has carpets and walls and clothes and hats and glasses and dresses and how to get them, how much they cost, what look they are if you're trying to impress Gracie. Just just look at this. It's just Um, yeah, we're just now into hats and accessories. Now we're in socks and shoes. It tells you like all the different flower combinations that you can get and what you need to get, like what hybrid flowers you need to make like if you wanted orange cosmos you would need to have a hybrid from a red and yellow cosmo or if you wanted a um a black lily you would need a hybrid from two red lilies or a blue violet from a purple and a white hybrid um, it tells you all about the trees and the s and uh, shrubs that you can get. It tells you about all the fruits that you can possibly get. Um, it tells you about the mushrooms and it has ginormous lists of just all the KK Slider songs. But if you don't know, if you go to KK on Saturday, he'll play you a special song and he'll slip you a bootleg copy. Which I think you can also buy from your catalog afterwards. So, um, it tells you about like stuff that you can get from people if you street pass them enough. And it has a full list of every single gyroid ever. Ever, ever. And then it has complete lists of all the bugs, all the fish, and all the deep sea catches that you can get. And it'll tell you like what percentage wins it best, where it's located. It has a whole list of fossils as well. And then you have this big old index. But this book, I'm glad I got it now that I'm kind of halfway through Animal Crossing. Because I already have one house fully paid off, but I'm still redoing it. Like I just now decided to redo my right side room in my basement. Uh, so this really comes in handy. Also comes in handy for tracking holiday stuff. Like I'm trying to get all the spooky furniture for my fourth person that I'll eventually make. Um, she'll have all of my holiday special stuff in her house. Plus just like special, special item furniture like the festival furniture and or Pave's furniture or whatever you call it and the bunny day for stuff and she'll just have it all the bug stuff she probably won't have just because I have it in my first house but she'll have like the um no she won't have the fish off stuff either because in my third house uh with my other girl I'm gonna make a mermaid and fish room but anyway, if you're addicted like I am, I would suggest getting this book. This is what it looks like normally. It looks like the actual cover of the game. I got mine at um, Barnes & Noble for $20.
but I would suggest for y'all to go to uh, GameStop because I think for right now they have it at, for ten dollars but my GameStop was out so that's why I got it at Barnes & Noble alright guys I will see you guys in the next video I love you guys bye bye